All right. All right guys, so I have had a lot of fun using this new GoPro Hero 8 and I have a lot of pretty much random clips because I would be out herping and then I would just kind of grab the GoPro and get some underwater shots of some turtles. So uh, this one, there's not going to be that much narration and it's going to be kind of a montage of some of the underwater shots I've gotten of all these turtles over the last week and a half. So enjoy this and thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one, but enjoy these underwater turtles. Right, first turtle of the day is this really nice and really big and really beat up male loggerhead musk turtle. Um, super stoked. Hey man, you alright? Oh, okay. Alright, so right here along the dam I have a swanee cooter. Looks like it's trying to escape the heat and not really able to get away. So I'm gonna move this over to an area where it has a bit more to hide under. Um, just so she doesn't overheat. She's really, really warm. Um, as you can see, perfect swanee cooter. <coughs> she got that nasty water in my mouth. <coughs> Let's bring her over here where she can get under these slabs a little bit more and there's a bit more shade. So we'll let her go over here. There you go, girl. See, there you go. That's a bit more shade for her in a better spot. So she won't risk overheating, which as hot as it's been and as hot as she was when I picked her up, that's entirely possible uh, what had killed that male that we saw earlier. All right, caught another magnificent male Sawani cooter. These guys are really pretty. Look at that eye. There's no turtle with an eye like a Sawani cooter has. That is just insanely beautiful. All right, so I'm ready to release this beautiful Sawani cooter back into his uh, little clear water area. And watch him swim away. Oh, there goes my bag. Woo they always take off real fast. I'm just gonna go back to hiding in his rocks. I'm just gonna leave him there. So, peace out, homie. All right, let's go take him back and get some uh, more photo and video of this guy. Wider. River cooter. What a pretty turtle.
Alabama map turtle. Pretty cool. Check that guy out. Got a non-native today. Got this uh, female Mississippi map turtle. Uh, looks like there's a guide locally that has released a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's been pretty notorious. And this Mississippi map turtle is one of them. And uh, that is a chunky female map turtle. She was down at the bottom and I snorkeled her up. And uh, pretty cool. One of my favorite map turtle species. I just didn't really expect to see it here way outside of its natural range. All right, one of the neat things about these Alabama map turtles is this little spine thing that they have going on on the dorsal side of their shell. And combined with uh, kind of the razor's edge serrations kind of going on around the outer edges of the shell, this helps them kind of uh, choke predators a little bit. Like if a fish came along and wanted to try and make a meal out of these guys, there's no comfortable way to swallow these guys. And a lot of times they'll get spit out and uh, it helps them go uh, a little bit further in being protected from being uh, predated on when they're little. So really, really cool. These are awesome little turtles and so abundant, you know, here in Alabama. And they're named the Alabama map turtle for a good reason, because they're found throughout the state. Wow. These river cooters here in Alabama are just absolutely stunning. I've never seen any colors uh, just as radiant as these guys are. The, the orange and the bright green eyes and the, even the algae just kind of sets them off a little bit. They just look amazing. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them in this creek that I was kayaking and it's, oh man, I could just stare at this thing forever. Just there's like so many different tones of orange and tangerine and yellow and I mean they're just probably these are probably the prettiest cooters i've ever seen in my life that is absolutely insane i can't i can't even put into words <laughs> wow and look at the round iris now normally the eastern river cooter has a bar through the iris but these guys used to be called hieroglyphic cooters and now they're just eastern river cooters but they do have a round iris similar to what you see on some map turtles so gives them a definitely kind of a different look more striking appearance and uh, just really, really cool looking. Awesome Eastern River Cooter. All right, so I am going to let this beautiful little cooter go so that she can go on, he or she can go on to make more amazing looking Eastern River Cooters disappear into this clear water. See you later, friend. Another pretty cooter out here on the water. Let's let this little fella go.
Must start off. But it's just hiding right here. Gotcha. Woohoo! Got him. Spiny soft shell. Pretty cool. He's musking like crazy. Smells so bad. <laughs> I love catching these turtles. Uh, if you look closely, you'll find that these guys are honestly everywhere. Uh, they're just so sleek and made for hiding and scooting around. They just do really, really well. Kind of an anywhere.